Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Energy needs to come from somewhere. Uh, and there is a question on whether the energy can come from the place where we get energy from every day. That may not have made much sense, but solar power is uh, powerful, really. But do you really know how it works and how it could potentially work? and what it could be used for. Did you know you could build your own type of solar power array? Pretty simple to do. Uh, all you need is some mirrors and steam and you could be off to the races. We've written an article on LockerGnome.com. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up. You can click the link in the video description here. How solar power, mirrors, and steam can change the world. I'm gonna go plus one that, tweet it out, and I also like liking it on Facebook. I like it, hopefully you like it as well. So we've gone in in this article, and we've looked for some really good YouTube videos that we found, including how a coal power station works, how a nuclear power plant works, and then how solar power plants work. And I think what I like most about the idea of using the sun, other than, you know, here in Seattle, on days that happens to be overcast and snowy, like today, uh, we wouldn't see the sun, but we certainly feel its effects. And we do get sun, just not every day. Uh, you know, the idea of being able to use and harness what's already coming in without expending any more resources is a great idea. But can solar power really scale to the point where the world today could use it? Uh, I don't know if we're necessarily there today. Can it happen? Absolutely. Will it happen? I'm depending on it. In fact, I think the earth would depend on it. I mean, we only have a limited amount of resources here, folks, okay? It's a planet, right? And we have what's here today. We can't just make something come out of thin air. It's, it's gotta come from something. So when we can take the energy from over there and translate it into energy that we can use here, that's a good thing. And that's generally the principle of solar power. Uh, so we've gone in and uh, even explained how you can do a DIY solar power array. You can start collecting solar power right now on your own. You don't need to turn to uh, another entity. Uh, we've got a few videos, a few uh, descriptive links, uh, some instructions for you if you want to start with solar power. Uh, it'd be kind of fun. I don't know if I could probably power my home office for about five minutes on a year's worth of solar power. There's a lot of electricity that flows through here. Uh, but uh, if you've always been interested in solar power, we've collected a few resources that uh, may help you get started with a bit of solar power. Uh, and uh, I'm just going to note here uh, from the YouTube comments here uh, on, the, on the live video, as we're broadcasting it to YouTube. Uh, it says, unfortunately, people wanna make money off of the energy sources that we already have. People are stagnant to change. Yeah, change doesn't come overnight. Uh, and I, I see that, you know, honestly, uh, I don't think anybody would say no to solar power if it did what we needed it to do. And I think potentially reserving some of that solar power for your own usage could be a way to cut energy costs. Not gonna be incredibly simple to do, but you can do it. Yourself, that's what DIY is short for. If you wanna know more, take a look at the link that we provided for you on LockerGnome.com, it's in the description.